Hi friends, welcome back to API tutorial with Laravel 8. We have already discussed each and every basic things of API and how to work with it and how to test it and also created some crude application with the API. So if you still not see this video, please go through once my API tutorial playlist. So today we will going to learn about authentication system using API. So here we will use Laravel Sanctum. So basically authentication is used to allow application for authorized person. So Laravel Sanctum basically provides the authentication system for single page application and you can use the mobile application and may we can use the simple token based API okay so if you go to the project directory so inside the project directory we have environmental file so here my database laravel api tutorial so if you go to the database we can see we have the laravel api tutorial so basically we will create user and using the sanctum we will create a token basically sanctum allow each user of your application to generate multiple api tokens for their account and using that token we can specify the access of user so first let's install sanctum so go to the terminal and we will install sanctum using the composer so write composer require and laravel slash sanctum okay so basically this will take some time so you can see the sanctum version is 2.8 and composer has been updated now it's updating the dependencies so sanctum installed successfully and the package manifest generated successfully so let's publish this so write php artisan vendor colon publish and after that hyphen hyphen provider equal to so we write the sanctum path so here write the laravel slash sanctum slash sanctum service provider okay so just enter this so publish complete so now migrate this so to migrate we need to use php artisan migrate okay so basically it is migrating some things that is create personal access token table so it is created when we install a sanctum in our application so if you go to the database we can see the new table and here you can see this is token table and there is a user table so basically we will create a user and we will add the middleware and using the middleware we will check the authentication so first add sanctum middleware into your laravel application so go to the project directory and refresh this so now if you want to use sanctum to authenticate a single page application you should add sanctum middlewares to your api middleware group so go to the app and http and there is a kernel.php so just register here so first we will use the sanctum class here so just write laravel slash sanctum slash http slash middleware slash ensure frontend request are stateful so this is a little bit large name so we need to use these things so here we will use the sanctum middleware into the api so go to the api middleware section so this is the middleware group and this is the api section so just right here that is the class name and colon colon the class okay so you can write anywhere you can write in the bottom section or in the top section so whatever you need to write in the api middleware group okay 
so now to use this token for users so go to the user model so here we'll get inside the model that is the user model and this model is actually a default model for laravel so we don't need to create this model when you install laravel this model is generated okay so just use the same type here so use laravel slash sanctum slash use hash api token okay and now use this token into the user class so you can write anywhere so just use here and add the comma so basically using the comma separated we can use multiple so here we will use hash api tokens so now let's create a seeder for the user model basically we will insert some fake data into the table so just create the seeder so write php artisan make seeder okay so i will create a seeder that is user stable seeder okay and just enter this so seeder created successfully so if we go to the project directory and inside the database we will get the seeders folder and here we can see that is user table seeder so using this seeder we will add some data into the user table so use the db here use db for database operation and also use has for password generation okay so for laravel we will generate the hash password so just use the hash okay so now inside the run method we will add a data so basically we will use db that is db and table so here my table name is users so right here the name of the table that is users and i want to insert some data so use the insert method and into the insert method just initialize array and we can add the multiple column so just write the name suppose name is john and for email just write john at the rate gmail.com that is john at the rate gmail.com and we will generate a hash password password okay so right here has and colon colon make so basically we will create a password so one two three four five is the password so here for to log in the john the email id is john at the gmail.com and a password is one two three four five so when it will enter into the database it will create as a hash format okay so let's run the seeder so how we can run this so very simple we need to run the php artisan db and seed okay and we need to run the user table seeder so just write the class name equal to users table seeder okay so just enter this so database seeding complete so now if you go to the database and inside the database we have users table so click on the browse we can see the one record that is john at the gmail.com and so this is the hash password okay so now i want to add another user so just change again so suppose my user is david and email is david at the rate gmail.com and suppose i am using the same password that's one two three four five okay so i am changing this so i am writing the password that is nine eight seven six five four okay so just read on the seeder so here we write so database setting completely successfully so go to the table and browse so here we can see the another user is created okay so now let's create a controller suppose i am creating a controller that is user controller so create one controller php artisan make controller so this is the controller creation command and i am creating the user controller so name the controller name 
okay so is a controller so controller created successfully so if we go to the project directory and check into the app HTTP controller so we can see that is user controller so now inside the controller we will create a method to check the login suppose one user will trying to log in with their email id and password so basically using this method we will check if the user is already exist in database or not so if it is exist we will generate a token for that user okay so now first use the user model so just write use app models that is users okay so here is my user model okay so app models user so notice okay and we will use the has again so use the has okay so now my function name is suppose public function login okay you can use your own function name and here we will get a request from the postman so basically postman is the tool to use the api so here we will write the request and we'll take into the dollar request so now i will add the logic so we are getting the email id and password from there so i will check if the email id or password is exist or not so i am creating a variable that is user so i am calling the user model so user model and we'll check the clause that is where suppose in the email we'll get the request mail so basically inside the request we'll get all the request things so we'll check if the request mail is found and we'll write the first so basically the first will fetch only the single record for the one entry and now i will check if not user means user not found or i will check the has password also so has colon colon check so basically this is the function to check the password with the database password so we'll check the requested password with the database password so basically database password is inside the user password okay so if any of the is true then user not found so return a response okay and i am creating a json array so here we'll write a message equal to not a valid user okay and i will pass the response code so here we will write the 404 and if the user found in the database so we will create a token so basically this is the token so token equal to we will create the user and write the create token okay and suppose here write the my app token and arrow plain text token okay and and in a response we will pass these things okay so just write another variable that is response equal to will pass the json array so here we will return two things that is the total user details so i am passing in user so inside the dollar user variable we will have the all the user details and we will pass the token also okay so basically the token is inside the dollar token okay semicolon and just to return the response okay so right here dollar response comma 201 so basically this is the response code okay so now 
we need to test this and need to send a request from postman so before that we need to create a route into the api.php so go to the route section so here is my route and we will use api routes for api purpose so create one route so here just write that is route i am creating a post and will write the login so basically it will call the login url and will write the controller name so basically the controller name is user controller here write this colon colon class and after that the method name so here is my method name that is login okay and also we need to register this user controller into the routes so just copy the namespace of the user controller routes so right here use app http controllers and user controller okay so my route is set so here is my route so now go to the postman and we'll test so here is my postman so create a request and we will pass the post type request so here is my post type request and this is the url that is 127.0.01 and 800 after that the api so this is the basically the base url of the api so here we need to write the api because we are using the api routes and now we need to pass the url that is login so basically which we have created just now and we need to pass the email and password so just go to the body and click on the raw and choose the json format data so here we'll write the json format data okay so just write email suppose my email is i am entering into the database so just copy that was david at the rate gmail.com okay so here we will pass another things that is password so here my password is so go to the serial we can see the password was 987654 okay so just write it here and click the send button okay so here sorry sorry the spelling mistake so we need to write the plane so here write so now so click on the send so we can see the user and the token so basically it is the coming with the user variable so basically inside the user variable we'll get all the user details and the token is so basically we are creating this token okay so basically this is the token for this user so now I want to authenticate any URL suppose uh, in our previous video we have created some urls that is so here is my api resource so using the post we can use all those things so just click on the previous step so using the api post we'll get the record from the post table so just click on this so here you get the post table so now i want to authenticate this url suppose if we pass the token means if the user login will only get this link otherwise it will not accessible okay so how we can do this so very simple just go to the api routes and create a middleware for sanctum so how we can use this so here suppose i'm here creating a middleware suppose create route and we'll create a group middleware so inside the group we'll add many URLs which i want to authenticate so just write a group and write the middleware so middleware and arrow then auth and sanctum okay so my middleware is created and now create the function okay so inside this group middleware we can add our urls okay so now we can access this so now if we just cut 
and paste into the group middleware section so it cannot be accessible okay so just go to the postman and click on send so basically this is not accessible so it is asking to log in so just preview so we can see the errors okay so how we can get access so here we are using the authentication so just click on the authorization and click on the barrier token so we'll pass the barrier token so from the previous url we'll get the token that is this token and we'll just pass this here okay so just click on the send now we can access this okay so that means without the valid token we cannot access this url okay so in this way if we just cut these things and paste in the group section so we cannot access this url without authentication okay so this is all about api authentication with the laravel sanctum so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section so next day we'll going to learn about laravel passport authentication so this is also a most interesting things and most useful things in laravel so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye